Let me give you some examples. Microsoft IIS 4.0, the one that shipped with Windows NT 4.0, had some backdoor code that was placed as part of the front page extension, or the code that allowed people to remotely author web pages. This code allowed anyone from Microsoft to be able to gain access to your system. The problem was, is hackers were able to identify that remote capability and exploit it, leading to thousands of web servers being hacked and defaced. The Palm OS, the operating system that runs in many popular personal digital assistants, or PDAs, such as the Palm Pilot and even Handspring's Visor, has a backdoor in it that would allow someone to override the password protection. In other words, it's very common for people who have these small PDAs to apply a password so that if they're stolen or lost, which happens quite frequently, no one can get access to their very personal and private or corporate sensitive information. However, this backdoor allows someone to completely override that password protection and get access to the information stored within. Cisco produces many very common networking devices from routers to firewalls to switches. In previous versions of their iOS, or their operating system that runs these hardware devices, they had several backdoors, one of which was not publicized for many years, but would allow an attacker to view the entire routing configuration of a network. Now I know what you're saying. Well, Cam, that's not a big deal. I mean, who cares if someone could just see my routing table? Well, the problem was this same model of router was implemented in some very sensitive networks run by the U.S. military. And as a result, it could have allowed someone to be able to penetrate these highly secure systems. Finally, Netscape's iPlanet web server also had some backdoor accounts. The problem with this was more than just the probability that someone could get access. It was also quite embarrassing because the password to gain access to the system said something that really wasn't quite flattering about the Microsoft Corporation.